Hey there, welcome to Dull Motion. This is my cat Pyrrhus. She's 9 years old and my boyfriend and me just adopted her a few months ago. She's a very happy cat. Who enjoys playing, being combed and spending her time sleeping on the couch. If you are wondering, Pyrrhus means pear in Latin. I kind of think cats look like pears and the other way around. Yeah, you can see it, right? Pears will be the inspiration for a new character, Daisy's older brother, who is also called Pyrrhus, who I mentioned in a previous episode. Speaking of a previous episode, if you saw the black cat figure in my Moltres repaint, then you found the hint. Good luck find the hint in this video. First let me clean up this cat hair. And now let's make Pyrrhus the cat. I'll be using this new body I found on AliExpress. It's slightly taller than a Monster High boy doll, but they fit the same shoes. The best feature of this body are the joints. They're almost the same as a made to move Barbie doll. The only downside is the neck back. I ordered a body without a doll head. And I kinda want to replace it with a Monster High or an After High doll head. But don't worry, I actually have a spare boy doll neck back. I still saved it for my Songbird custom. But first, let's find this body a new head. Yeah, that sentence doesn't sound creepy at all. At this point, I only have a Monster High slow mo boy doll left. The other option is to use my only Alistair Wonderland doll. Hmm, uh, I don't know. Just like Kitty, he's very hard to find in the Netherlands. After almost using my only Alistair doll, I found a second hand lot on a Dutch eBay. With a second Alistair and a Kitty. I will be using her for a future repaint for sure. Well, you are lucky, Alistair number one. Let's make ourselves a cat. The hands the body came with are kind of boring. So I'm going to switch them out with the spare hands I have left for my Zapdos repaint. The other ones can go back to my spare hand box. I cracked the old neck back open so I can click the new one into the body. It took some force, but it looks great in the end. Taking my trusty mug, no it's not a hint for the next video. I fill it with hot water and dunk the doll in it. I let it soak for a while. This makes the final soft and makes it easy for me to remove the head from the body without breaking the neck back. Although I really love those blonde locks, they have to go. I cut his hair as close to his head as possible. Now I can go through his neck to remove the remaining hairs and glue. With nail polish remover containing acetone, I remove his factory painted face. I wash his face after with warm soapy water. The human ears have to go to make place for cat ears. Out of wire I make an armature to form cat ears. To make the cat ears, I use epoxy clay by mixing part A and B together. I sculpt two pointy ears and wait until they are dry. I mark where the ears are on his head and I take them out. I paint his head dark blue where I want his hair to be later and the rest black. Let's do some yarn stuff. This doll will be needing some flock. To make this I bind yarn to a giant cut off fly swatter and comb out the yarn. Now I cut the yarn in teeny tiny pieces to make flock. 
I make three badges out of three colors. I gave them a base color before I cover the ears with fabric glue. When the glue is still wet, I gently push flock on the ears and let it dry for one day. I brush off the exit flock and now we have flocked ears. To make a flocked tail, I first make thick wire made out of multiple aluminum wires. I cover it with bandage tape for a better grip. Just like the ears, I first give it a base color and now I start flocking. Reroute time! I thought funky blue hair would look great on this character. So I went with this dark blue nylon hair. To reroute, I take a string of hair, slide it over a needle cut on an angle, and push it into the doll's head. This I do many, many times. To secure the hair from the inside, I use fabric tag glue. I was thinking to give this character this cool haircut many guys wear lately. You know, that haircut that kinda looks like Pidgeotto. With boiling water, I force the hair to stay on one side. Then I let it air dry for one day. A little trim and now we're done with the head for now. Switching to the body, I make a hole in his lower back for the tail with a lino cutter. Because this character is older than Daisy and Alex, he has more animal features, the traits I made up for this universe and I have to commit to. I cut his legs and gave them a little bit of a band. My cat Pyrrhus is a gorgeous black cat. So to mimic this, I'm going to use the pastel powders technique. The trick is to bring layers of pastel powders and mix it super clear, until you have a solid color. And no, I'm not sponsored by Albert Heijn. Here you can see the bent legs I made better. Although my cat only has white toes, I'm going to make a gradient from feet to legs and from hands to arms. To seal in the acrylic paint, I use a matte varnish. We're going to add some facial features to his face, so it's best to place back his head on his body. With again epoxy clay, I sculpt long fingernails and cat features to his face. After it's dry, I paint everything with acrylic paint. Finally, face up time! I start by blushing his underlip with pastel powders to mimic my cat's best feature. Her white jaw that makes her look annoyed all the time. With a white pencil I start sketching in his eyes, so I have a guideline to paint in with acrylic paint. I want to give this character something special, so I decided to give him different colored eyes. One blue to match his hair and one yellow. Now that I'm adding shadows to his eyes, let's answer the question of the day. Do you enjoy customizing male or female doll bodies more? Well, I think I'm one of the few who actually prefer to repaint male dolls. 
think it's more because they have more joints and are easier to animate. I'm also not a big fan of the high heel syndrome all female dolls have. Although I have a solution for this, I will show you later. Do you have a question for me? Leave it in the comments section and maybe I will answer it in the next repaint video. Back to the face up. Some less blushing with pastel powders and a spray of Mr. Superclear and the face up is done. With a two part epoxy glue, a glue on his tail and cat ears. Now I can finally use all the blue flock I made earlier. Just like with the ears and tail, I use fabric glue and push on the flock and leave it to dry for one day. Then I brush off the exit flock. The spare flock I will store for a future project. Cleaning some more cat hair. Looking good. For his outfit, I will making him a white t-shirt, black jeans and black and blue leather jacket. Together with his body, I also ordered these doll sneakers and miniature dog tag. Yep, a cat wearing a dog tag. Before I make his jacket, let's give him some eyebrows. Just like with Alex, I'm going to glue on teeny tiny pieces of yarn. For his white whiskers, I use fake eyelashes I painted white with acrylic paint. I dip the end in fabric glue and glue them to his upper lip. Then I sew him a leather jacket, some shine in his eyes and lips and he's done! Thank you guys for being here. I was feeling a little bit sad when Alex went on his vacation. Yeah, I thought something like that. That's why I invited over my brother Pyrrhus. What? Why? No! I heard he's very handsome and smart. I really didn't do my hair. And this is a very old dress. And um, maybe Alex will like me more than just friends one day. Yeah, right. Oh, no, no. I'll get it. No, no, wait. Henry, please say something to her. Oh, I bother. You don't talk. You are right, Daisy. She's very cute and pretty. <laughs> About a month ago, I released a family tree on Instagram of all the characters I made so far and will make in the future. As you look at Paris' family tree, you see Paris has a younger sister called Sabrina. This is actually the Halloween cat from last year. To match her sister Daisy and brother Paris better, I'm going to do some changes to her. First, I break off her fake vampire teeth. And this is very interesting, I made her feet flat by cutting them and remake them with wire and epoxy clay. I gave her a gradient from feet to legs and hands to arms with pastel powders. Gave her new flocked ears, a new dress and whiskers. The best shoes for a new feet are the BB shoes I unboxed some time ago. You can also find them on eBay. 
they also look very good on Daisy's and Penny's new feet. There she is. No time to waste. I'm going to tell her how I feel. Hey, Penny! Oh, hey, Alex. How was your vacation? Oh, uh, yeah, very relaxing. Great! And how is your aunt doing? Aunt Kenneth is doing great. But hey, I wanted to talk to you about something. As you know, you and I have been very good friends for a long time. And I have the fee- Oh, before I forget, do you have my Game Boy? Uh, yeah, it's in my bag. Great! I want to do a Blink Cable Pokemon battle with Pyrrhus. Who is Pyrrhus? Hey! I got him. Let's start with video game night. Oh, hey. You must be Benny's roommate, Alex. Nice to meet you. I'm Pyrrhus Felis. Uh, Alex Fox. Hey, I was thinking. I play Pokemon Blue and you Red. We meet at every gym you pass and challenge each other to a Pokemon deal. Oh, that's a great plan. I'm too late. Well, that was it for this male doll version of my cat Pyrrhus. I would have liked to have a picture with her and the doll, but yeah, you know how cats are. They decide when they want to make a picture. I would like to thank my lovely patrons for supporting this channel. And like always, like if you liked it and sub if you loved it. See you in the next video. Bye!